The kid in the astronaut suit is a dead giveaway that this isn't a New Year's countdown. Two, one, go New Horizons! It happened about half an hour after 2019 arrived. A spacecraft named New Horizons did a flyby past the most distant and most ancient object ever reached by humankind, and the scientists couldn't wipe the grins off their faces. I'm really liking this 2019 thing so far. <laughs> it took 13 years to get here. It's a billion miles past Pluto. Wait till you see it. It's okay to laugh, but it's better than the one we had yesterday. Meet Ultima. <laughs> yes, they're applauding what looks like a blurry dental x-ray. Ultima Thule, meaning a distant place beyond the borders of the known world. It's a rocky lump preserved in frigid temperatures, a sort of solar system time capsule. But that shape? Bowling pin or peanut, uh, sort of looks like a peanut to me. Um, it was compared to Olaf the Snowman from Frozen. Someone tweeted, looks like a jelly bean. But the voyage to this jelly bean has inspired a song by a world famous guitarist. <laughs> Brian May, the lead guitarist for Queen, now has a PhD in astrophysics, white hair, and a soft spot for the New Horizons mission. New Horizons is also taking away the ashes of the astronomer who discovered Pluto in 1930, who got to fly right by it. It will take weeks for the highest resolution close-ups of Ultima to arrive. Someone's pet was posed, awaiting images, signal-enhancing dish deployed, while others enjoyed imagining images. Who needs the man in the moon when you've got the man in Ultima Thule? I see a little silhouette of a man. Genie Mo, CNN, New York.